Yeah, they have a bad record at TD at Liverpool. I think one win in 27, 28 mm. games. They have a bad record mm. in Manchester as well. Uh, those uh, Londoners don't fancy it up the northwest, do they? <laughs> the wind's cold up there. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't, well, I don't think it was that cold yesterday, but um, uh, yeah, you've, you've, you've got to my I think he called his players heroes after the game. Um, maybe you went a touch too far there, but uh, I, I do admire what they do. And, uh, you know, if you if you look at the circumstances, not bringing a player in, not really getting the backing because they had to pay the stadium off, um, the, the tune he gets out of these players begin week out is, is, is phenomenal. And you look at the teams already being out of the Champions League, Spurs are still in. Yep. I think um, I think they are uh, over one game, two games. This is a very, very a tough team to beat. It's, it's a good unit. They had Wings and Dyer um, uh, not available yesterday. Uh, Son was uh, uh, on the bench. So they're very, they've got a very thin squad, as, as John alluded to. Um, and that certainly doesn't help um, in the long run. Um, but you've got to say what he's done since he come to Spurs, uh, the, the level of they perform in every week. Yeah. And they didn't, uh, they didn't uh, get what they deserved yesterday. I don't think they deserved to lose yesterday. Um, and I think that shows how far they have come to, uh, to really have a team like Liverpool at home who are you know, full of confidence. And obviously they've got a lot of pressure to race on. I had them on the ropes. And, um, you know, I've got to say that the manager has really worked miracles. Um, but if he doesn't get the back and then obviously it'll be near enough impossible to beat uh, Liverpool or City over 38 games.